Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome back to my channel Civil Zest. Today we will discuss about a basic topic of soil mechanics or subject of civil engineering in which we will discuss some basic terms of soil mechanics. These are the introductory some basic terms of soil mechanics which you can see in this board. First of all, if we see that there is a term water content. Now, we have written, I have written the formulas here from which you can drive the, you can know the real definition of the water content and other terms. So, we can define that the W, uh, W is the water content, W is the symbol of water content, this W, small w is the symbol of water content, it is the ratio of weight of the water to the weight of the soil solids. Now, one thing we have to understand here that in the in the structure of soil, in the structure of the soil, there are two things. There are soil particles, which are soil grains or soil solid, we can say that. So, there are two components of a soil structure. First of all is our soil particles, the soil grains or soil solids and second is our voids. Voids can be filled with air or water. In the case of dry soil, these are filled with the air, but in the case of fully saturated soil, these are filled with the water. And in the case of partially saturated soil, both air and water are present in the verb voids. Basically, voids are the spaces between our soil solids. So, these are our voids. Now, in these formulas, we have to understand that when, when there is S abbreviation, when there is S at the bottom, then it is showing that soil solids. So, basically, we have to understand the the concept of formula that it is the weight or mass of the soil solids or the total volume of the soil. So in this case, water content we have W is equal to weight of water divided by WS multiplied by 100 because we have to we have to write water content in the form of percentage. It is basically expressed in percentage. So it is water content ratio of water weight of water to the weight of solid weight of water present in the soil to the weight of the soil solids. Next, we have to discuss about uh, now. Second equation is uh, if we can express in it is in the weight of in the form of water, in the form of weight, and also in the form of mass. Here we are expressing it is in the form of mass, mass of uh, uh, water in the soil, and mass of the soil solids. So next, friends. In the case of density of soil, you you know that density is a basic term, is a um, basic and important term of the science which you can define as the ratio of mass to the volume. So anything the ratio of mass to the volume is known as density. Same is the case in the, with the soil and soil mechanics. So here we can divide the density of soil into four different types of densities. So here we, there are furthermore four types of density. Basically the density is the mass to the volume ratio and its unit is kg per meter cube kg per meter cube is, is its ratio because it is a ratio of mass, mass the ratio kg and meter cube volume. So here we can write that kg per meter cube, kg per meter cube. So next uh, we have to define the bulk density, bulk density has unit rho, rho is total mass divided by total volume. So basically the density of soil is also known as bulk density, bulk density is the total volume of soil divided by total mass divided by total volume. So here we are representing it as m divided by v, total mass divided by total volume of the soil sample we have. Next uh, if we have to discuss the uh, density type, dry density which is denoted by rho d, rho d. Now rho d, rho d is equal to mass of solids divided by total volume. Mass of solids divided by total volume which is which can be represented as ms, ms divided by total volume v. So this is the basically dry density in which we include, we take the ratio of mass of solids. Now here we have to write the total mass of the soil sample including the voids and the soil solids. But here we have to write the mass of soil solids only. In the next case, we have to discuss the saturated density which is rho saturated and rho saturated is equal to m saturated divided by v. Now what is m saturated? m saturated here I have written mass of fully saturated soil. So basically the mass of fully saturated soil divided by total volume of the soil is known as our saturated density. Now what is fully saturated soil? You know that when all the voids are 
completely filled with the water then we can say that our soil is fully saturated soil and we can represent it by a two phase diagram and our degree of saturation is one or hundred percent so basically in that case our soil is fully saturated soil and referring to that our density of that soil is saturated density next in the last case we have to discuss the submerged density which is rho sub rho sub a rho sub is equal to ms sub divided by v now what is this nominated nominated term ms sub is equal to submerged mass of soil solids now when our soil is submerged in a water sample then ms sub submerged mass of soil solids in the mass of the soil solids which are submerged in the water is known as is taken as the d is taken as no, nominator in the case of submerged density and our denominator is the total volume of the soil so basically this is the concept of submerged density and you can also note that so uh, rho sub is equal to rho saturated minus rho w rho sub is equal to rho saturated minus rho w now rho sub is our submerged density rho is our saturated density which we have already studied and rho w here rho w is our density of water which you can see that rho w is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube of well known value 1000 kg per meter cube is our density of water so for this formula we can also calculate rho sub and by with the help of this equation we can also calculate submerged density when the soil is submerged in a water sample so these are the basic types of the density of soil next if we discuss the unit weight unit weight is also one of the basic terms of regarding to the soil and unit weight is represented by gamma this gamma is the symbol of unit weight and next we have to discuss its definition so basically uh, it is the ratio of weight of the soil to the volume of the soil so simplest definition is weight of the soil to the volume of the soil and similarly but how we classify the density of the soil similarly we can classify the unit weight like bulk unit weight dry unit weight saturated unit weight and submerged unit weights similarly we can say that uh, dry unit weight is rho d rho d is equal to m w s by v so basic concept is all these formulas the m the mass in all these formulas of density are replaced by w so basically m is replaced by w here m is replaced by w here and all the remaining formulas are same in the case of saturated density w saturated divided by v in the case of submerged density w s sub divided by v all the formulas m are replaced by w this is the basic difference between density and the weight of unit weight of the soil if we talk about the unit weight of the water then you can see that gamma w is equal to 9.81 kilo newton per meter cube so this is also a value to remember this is also an important value and this is a concept of unit weight next if we talk about the specific gravity of soil friends next we will talk about the specific gravity term specific gravity is denoted by g and it is basically the specific gravity of ss soil solids so basically what g is representing g is representing the specific gravity of soil solids and it is g is equal to gamma s divided by gamma w means the unit weight of the soil solids to the unit weight of water at temperature 27 degree centigrade so temperature is worth important to note that temperature is 27 degree centigrade and at 27 degree centigrade the unit weight of soil solids and to the unit weight of water sample uh, to the unit weight of water at 27 degree centigrade is re is representing the specific gravity the so one thing you note that if we if we write simple gamma simple gamma then it is the unit weight of the whole soil of soil sample but if we if we write the gamma s then it will be the unit weight of soil solids excluding the void here the unit weight of sample holds entire sample means soil solids and voids but here only soil sample soil solids or soil grains or soil particles are considered so here the specific gravity of soil solids is g is equal to gamma s divided by gamma w soil solids no if we can see that g is equal to unit weight of soil solids divided by unit weight of water you can also see the definition ratio of unit weight of soil solids to that of water next thing if we discuss about the specific gravity of the whole soil sample which is denoted by gm gm now what is gm gm is the bulk specific gravity gm is known as bulk specific gravity it is gm is equal to gamma over gamma w and this gamma is the unit weight of soil unit weight of so unit weight is represented by gamma 
unit weight of soil means it is the soil plus uh, soil solids plus void unit weight so it is also known as it has two names other mass 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 or apparent or apparent specific gravity apparent specific gravity so basically they, these three are all the same terms bulk or mass or apparent specific gravity and these are the specific gravity of the whole soil sample and here we are considering the specific gravity of soil solids so basically these are the basic terms of soil mechanics for, from which we can further understand the concept and formulation of soil mechanics this is all about today's lecture and we have studied the basic terms of soil mechanics first of all we can say that water content which is noted by small w or omega symbol w is equal to capital w w divided by ws multiplied by 100 so it is expressed in percentage and it has no units because it is a ratio of two same quantities it can be represented in the form of weight and it can be represented in the form of mass and next we have studied the density of soil which is further divided into these different types bulk density dry density saturated density and submerged density and we have discussed regarding their formulas and in the last in the uh, second last we have discussed the unit weight which is gamma is equal to w divided by v now you can say that its unit is w w is a force which can be which is unit is newton or kilonewton and its kilonewton divided by volume unit is meter cube length into breadth into height so kilonewton per meter cube is the basic unit of our unit weight so basically if we see that gamma w is equal to 9.81 kilo newton per meter cube so kilo newton per meter cube is our unit weight and it is the unit weight of water and this is our density in the case of water 1000 kilogram per meter cube kilogram per meter cube is the unit of density next if we discuss what is the our unit of specific gravity then you can say that it is the ratio of two same quantities unit weight and unit weight and also here in the case of the bulk specific gravity unit weight to the unit weight of water so it will have no units as you, the units will cancel and it will have no units so basically what is the specific gravity specific gravity is the unit of soil solids to the unit weight of water and in bulk apparent or mass all these are the same terms and it's it is the unit weight of soil to the unit weight of water so all this is guys about today's lecture if you understand this concept and these terms then kindly like my video and subscribe my channel we will meet in next video thank you and allah hafiz